Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and it is time for another SketchUp lesson. So let's get cracking. Friends, first things first, I see that we are so close to 500 subs. Just want to say thank you all for joining in. And if you ever have questions or comments, make sure you add them below. So friends, make sure you click the link in the description, sign in with Google. One of the first things I want to remind you is that we always choose what measurements we're building with. Today, my friends, we are building with meters. When you click on the meters, it'll take a moment to open. You can click on the gentleman, hit delete because we won't use them. Today, friends, we are going to make an obelisk, which is pretty cool and historically significant. All right, friends, remember it works like this. It's always click and release. Do not hold the mouse button. We're going to use R for rectangle. I'm also going to remind you to make sure you click this screen so the browser knows you're talking to it. Friends, our obelisk is going to be two by two. Remember, all we do is type two comma two and press enter, and you've got a two meter base. If we do shift Z, it will zoom to that exact size. If we hit O for orbit, we can drag so we can see it from a little bit of an angle. Now remember, as you build, always click this tab when you go between the movies. I've seen students in class trying to do shortcuts when they were still on the movie tab. Always make sure you're in this tab so you can build. Our next command is P for push pull. Click and let go, raise it up a little bit. Friends, since it's two meters wide, let's try 20 meters high, press enter, once again, we're going to do space bar, triple click, one, two, three, so you see all the sides are selected. And let's do shift Z to zoom and see our awesome obelisk. Now, friends, we want to click somewhere else, do O for orbit, and look at the top of this. Space bar, double click, so we've got the outside edge and the inside, and we are going to do S for scale. When you click scale, it is in the normal scale mode where we can just pull one. We don't want to do that though. We want to pull around the center. So we tap control and you'll note that red dot shows up. When you click and let go, make it a little smaller. And I'm going to tell you the number we want to type is 0.55 and press enter. Remember you just type, you don't have to click anywhere and it automatically shows up in the little box. When you press enter, you'll see we've got this awesome shape created. Now let's figure out the top of our obelisk. We're going to switch from the tape measure to the dimension tool. And I want you to find the dimensions of this shape. So you can see that is 1.1 meters. And since it's square, this will be 1.1 meters as well. So friends, we need to move across this shape and half of 1.1 is 0.55. Type 0.55 and press enter and you will have a line in the exact middle of your shape. Let's do L for line and go to the middle of that line. And we want to make a line going up. Alrighty friends, so once again, you'll note I'm clicking the tab. Now that we've got this line, we can go to the middle of it and we want to make sure it's on the blue axis. If it's any other color but blue, it's not aimed right. When it says on blue axis, you can just type one and press enter. Let's hit shift Z so it zooms out. And then we want to connect this to the end point. Let's hit O to orbit. I'm going to do hand so I can drag. And once I've got it aligned super easy, I'm going to go across this corner and I'm going to go back up to this shape. So we've just connected one side. Let's press O for orbit, L for line. And we need to connect this corner as well. Notice you go right to the end point. O for orbit, L for line and we're gonna connect this one as well. We have just made an amazing obelisk. I don't want the lines on the inside though. So what we do is press space bar, right click, and we choose hide. Now we can hit E for erase and get rid of this center line. We can also erase our little markings on the outside. I'm gonna do O for orbit, E for erase, and click on that dimension now that I've got it. Back to O for orbit, space bar. Let's get rid of this center chunk. So now our object is completely hollow. One more erase to get rid of this guideline. And then finally we can come over to the glasses and we can do unhide all. Friends, you've just made an epic obelisk. Now it's time to give it cool colors. Click on your materials. You can pick any of these awesome ones. You can play with patterns. 
uh, whatever you want you can just click on them and paint them they will turn out really really cool sometimes you got to zoom in to see them I'm gonna actually switch to mirror and glass for a second so now it's hollow and then my final idea I'm gonna do control A to grab it all I'm gonna do shift Z so I can see it all and then I want to paint it with metal you can collapse these so they're not in the way here's my metal choices and friends I'm gonna make the whole thing a cool silver and then on the top I'm gonna to do O for orbit spacebar to just click the top pieces and these were usually gold so I'm gonna paint them with this gold color there's my cool gold and O for orbit you can push in your scroll wheel to orbit as well and friends you have just made an awesome obelisk while you also practice skills in SketchUp make sure you hit save so you don't lose it if you're in my classroom make sure you call me over and show me how cool your obelisk turned out friends i hope you had a ton of fun and of course if you did please give the video a like please also hit that share button so more people can learn about sketchup made simple of course if you got a question comment or suggestion add it down below and if you haven't subscribed yet what are you waiting for smash that subscribe button and last but not least hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me hl mod tech thanks for watching have a great day